Monitoring your blood glucose regularly will give you information to help prevent both hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia. Hypoglycemia occurs when your blood glucose is lower than normal, usually less than 70 milligrams. This condition is also known as an insulin reaction in people who take insulin, hypoglycemic reaction, or in extreme cases, insulin shock. Symptoms of hypoglycemia include excessive hunger, shakiness, perspiration, dizziness, lightheadedness, pale skin color, and confusion. If hypoglycemia is left untreated, it can lead to unconsciousness and even death. After a hypoglycemic episode, it is recommended that you be checked out by a healthcare professional for after effects like confusion. Hyperglycemia occurs when your blood glucose is higher than normal. Symptoms of hyperglycemia can include excessive thirst and urination. Exactly when you should check your blood glucose and how often will vary depending on a lot of factors, from the type of diabetes you have and your treatment to your work and lifestyle schedule. Testing your blood first thing in the morning or during the day when you haven't eaten for at least eight hours is known as a fasting state. When you've started eating a meal within the last two hours and your blood glucose is elevated above normal levels, this is called postprandial hyperglycemia. You'll need to work with your diabetes educator or healthcare provider to create a weekly testing schedule that works best for you. In the meantime, here are some guidelines to help you get started. Test your levels at the same times each day so that you can track your blood glucose patterns. If you're on multiple dose insulin or insulin pump therapy, generally recommended times to check your blood glucose include before meals and snacks, occasionally two hours after the first bite of a meal, at bedtime, prior to exercise, when you suspect low blood glucose, after treating low blood glucose, and prior to critical tasks such as driving. Note that when checking glucose after meals, you check two hours after the first bite of a meal, not two hours after the meal ended. And remember, for both type 1 and 2, your specific monitoring schedule should be decided together with your healthcare provider and diabetes educator.